or hello this is Captain Taylor with SaltyScales.com what I want to discuss with you today is the lures that I prefer to catch pompano I've been receiving some requests on uh, techniques and the jigs that I prefer so I figured I'd make a short video sharing uh, some of my favorite pompano jigs so let's go ahead and get to it so guys there's two primary jigs that I actually prefer one of them being a newer jig it's called the naked ball jig you can actually get them at your local um, boaters choice uh, some of the West Marines are carrying them now the small mom-and-pop tackle stores uh, what they consist of is just a ball a little chain like you'd see on a maybe a pen at a bank and a couple of teaser a feather a teaser feather and a hook and these are very effective there's not a whole lot to them. Uh, all you do is you jig them real rapidly, let them descend really quickly, and hit the sand. And when they hit the sand, it throws up, you know, it throws up a powder or a cloud of sand, which maybe imitates a sand flea or something that a pompano would naturally feed on. So these are extremely effective, and they're made here in America. So I would highly suggest you try these out. They're about five or six dollars a piece depending on where you get them now the old trusties that you can't go wrong with are the docks goofy jigs and this is what they look like kinda triangular in shape um, they have a very cool wobble when they go to sink um, and you want to fish these the exact same way Cut rapid jerks allow them to descend quickly and hit the bottom and I've had these, you know, Pompano chase these all the way to back to the boat. Um, so they're very, very cool and effective ones. Uh, you can buy an off-brand at Walmart. They actually carry one. I forget what it's called. But, um, or you can just Google them, and I'm sure you'll come across them. I think you can even get them on eBay. But uh, they're usually a couple bucks. Some people like to use them with a, a teaser fly, and that's the way I like to use them. So you just hook a fly. You do a loop knot and hook this onto your knot and then the fly the hook faces this way so in other words it would look something like this say so here's your teaser you'd put your loop knot on and put your teaser like so and a lot of times they'll actually hit this teaser and they won't even hit this so you want to do that uh, to make the rig extremely effective and you can even do a uh, tandem rig placing two of them on the line uh, a lot of folks do that and they're really successful with it I personally prefer the one with the teaser fly but guys if you use this right now the pompanos are pretty thick in the pass um, the passes you know they're, they're you know you know they're not as thick as they were a month or two ago but they're out there and they're gonna be here all year round so go out use these rigs um, and techniques and report back to us how you do. If you have any questions, just post on the YouTube page or go to saltyscales.com. And guys, be sure to check out our new apparel that we recently launched. It's, it's, uh, it's very unique apparel made right here in America, so I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you on the water.